Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment for my brain and today still a while for we are playing some more franchise hockey manager 7 with my Tampa Bay Lightning historical challenge. Alright, it's been a minute since I've played this game. I had to, you know, get myself situated a little bit before I started to record. Uh, one of the first things that jumped to me is that January is going to be very uh, away from Tampa Bay heavy. Uh, the first 10 games that are listed on the schedule there, 8 of them are on the road. So we are going to be on the road a lot in January as it would seem. Uh, we are second in the East, uh, tied really at first with Ottawa. Um, we still have Keith Kitschuk that we won't see uh, in this video. Marcus Nassel and Boris Mironov are day-to-day, -day, so they should be coming back soon. Um, trading block is pretty much the same as it ever was. There is one player that's kind of interesting, but at this point he's not necessarily a huge upgrade to anybody that I already have and that would be John Leclerc he's getting a little bit older and everything so probably would fit nicely on my team probably like next to Martin Strucker or something but uh, I really don't have all that much left that I can expand uh, and I already have some pretty decent left winger they just happen to be hurt all right, so with all that being said, uh, we are going to get January going here. Uh, we have a pretty good record of 22, 9, and 6. So hopefully we can build up on that and go and win the Stanley Cup in dramatic fashion. I mean, I feel like I have karma on my side because Tampa Bay won the Stanley Cup in real life, right? So, um, and then, oh my God, and then, you know, Kucherov had that interview after the game where he was shirtless and that he said something about the Montreal fans and I've seen a lot and I do mean a lot of crying and whining from Montreal fans across all of my social media over what Kucherov said and uh, yeah I mean just just typical Montreal Canadian fan reaction they don't take the truth very well apparently all right, so Brendan Shannon extends his goal straight to six games. He had a goal against the Edmonton Oilers. And William Davidson is satisfied with my work. We went 5-2-5 five, and five last month. That's a lot of ties. I don't remember getting so many ties last month. I mean, obviously we did, and we have six ties there. But Yeah, I just don't remember it. But then again, it's been a... It's been a, a few days since I recorded. Uh, I did not have Elf on my side. I'm fine now in case anybody is worried, but uh, it had been a pretty tough two weeks, the last two weeks. All right, so we are now in Carolina to play against the Hurricanes. Hurricanes are 11, 24 and one. That's good for 14th in the East. We are two and zero against uh, the Hurricanes this season. Hopefully we're gonna keep it at a perfect record against them. We're gonna go with Nikolai Abibulin in net. He has five fires to his name. Chris Osgood is gonna be in net for Carolina. He has one snowflake to his name. He might be a Montreal Canadian fan. Maybe that's why. Uh, and we won 4-1 to one here in Carolina to start the month, so pretty good start to our month, a 4-1 victory. Uh, we outshot Carolina to 36-30, uh, to 30. Sergei Gonchar was the first star of the game, he had a goal and an assist, Vili Peltonen was the second star with a goal and an assist, and Rob Blake was the third star with an assist. Uh, Carolina opened up the scoring in the first, so they were the first ones to draw blood in this one, and they were up one nothing after one. Uh, then we scored three unanswered goals in the second. Bill Guerin scored his 15th from Ryan Smith. Then Vili Peltonen from Michael Lanzos. And then Sergei Gonchar scored his fifth from Brian Rafalski and Vili Peltonen. It was 3-1 here after two. And then in the third period, Martin Strecker scored from Rob Blake and Sergei Gonchar. Made it 4-1 and that's how the game ended with a 4-1 victory. All 
right, so Patrick Marlowe's point streak ended at 12 games against us. We held him scoreless, so there you go. Take a seat, Patrick Marlowe. All right, and now we're going to be playing in Ottawa against the Suns. The Suns are 23, 10, and 5. Uh, that's good for second in the East. We just leapfrogged them with that win. We are 0-1 against the Suns this season. They have a pretty good team. So that's that should be a pretty good game. We're sending Johannenberg in that one. Ooh. And he's going to be facing Mika Kiprusov, who has five fires to his name. So that's going to be challenging here. We might lose this game. But we didn't. Another 4-1 victory. So... We played two games in two nights, and it was a 4-1 victory both times, and on the road nonetheless, so pretty good. Uh, we outshot Ottawa 33-22 in this game. Matt Sundin was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Teppo Numenen was the second star with an assist, and Peter Shastlewi was the third star with two assists. All right, so nobody scored in the first. Then in the second period, Bill Guerin scored on the power play from Sergei Gonchar and Martin Strecker. And then Scott Young scored on the power play as well from Rob Blake and Matt Sundin. It was 2-0 two two Tampa Bay at that point. Then Ottawa scored, made it 2-1. to one. So that was the score going into the third period. Matt Sundin scored from Alex Tange and Peter Shastlevy. And then finally, Ryan Smith scored his 10th from Teppo Numenen and Peter Shastlevy. It was a 4-1 victory. Pretty good game again. Oh, Jan Kaloon is put on waivers. Good for him. Dynamic passing leads to products of night for Jonas Oglund. Oglund playing in Nashville. He had four assists against the Blues. Marcus Neslin is starting to feel better. Good. We could use him. Now we have a couple days off before we play in Chicago against the Hawks. All right, no further discipline for Buffalo's rubs. I mean, wow, he's still over there. All right, so no suspension for him. Brant Myers, former Tampa Bay Lightning, as is Rob Zemuner. Uh, Brent Myers is suspended. He's going to miss one game. Frederick Olasson in that same game played in his thousand game in the NHL. No point for him. And the game was against the New York Islanders. Pierre Turgeon extends his assist streak to eight games with two assists in that same game against Phoenix. Boris Miranov is feeling better. Marcus Neslin is feeling better. And the Devils players are unhappy with the ice quality. So according to a local beat reporter's unnamed source, multiple New Jersey players have approached management to voice concerns over the condition of the Atlantic Division team's ice. The players met together in a private meeting before the team's practice and appointed an unnamed player to meet with owner Ray Chambers and head coach Herb Brooks to air complaints about the ice surface's upkeep. Apparently, the meeting's result was not satisfactory to the players, and it is questionable if it will hurt the fifth-place team's morale. All right, so we are going to be playing in Chicago against the Ox. The Ox are not doing good. They are 12, 21, and 7. Let's take a look at them. All right, so there's no injuries in Chicago. Uh... Ed Belfour and Ilya Brisgalov, and I think we played them in preseason because I remember this lineup. Igor Kravchuk, Matthias uh, Nordstrom, Sandy Sazalinj, Zuzin, Rans, Boyle, Chelios, and Davidov. Then up front, it's Janssen, Karpov, Mato, Tambiev, Skyanek, McCammon. Ronik is unfit to play. Shantz, Granato, Krivokrasov, Vlasak, Dano, and Mann. I remember Ronik being unfit, and that would be the only way I would have found that out is if we played them in preseason. All right. No, we didn't. Wow. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe I have psychic powers that uh, are untapped right now. 
Who knows? All right, so Nikolai Bibulin is going to be in net for us. He has five fires. Ed Belfour is going to be in net for Chicago. One fire for him. And it is a pretty convincing 6 nothing victory in Chicago here. So we start the month on a pretty hot streak. We're on the road and we're winning every single game so far. Uh, we outshot Chicago 38 to 17 in this game. Michael Lanzos was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Rob Blake was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Marcus Neslin was the third star with a goal and an assist as well. So Neslin back in the lineup and getting points. All right, so Matt Sundin scored the first goal of the game uh, midway into the first period from Tepo Numenen and Boris Mironov, then Vili Peltanen from Rob Blake and Michael Lanzos, 2 nothing Tampa Bay after one. Then in the second period, Marcus Neslin scored from Tepo Numenen and Sergei Gonchard, 3 nothing Tampa Bay after two. And we added three more goals in the third period. Brian Rafalski scored from Alex Tangi and Marcus Neslund, then Rob Blake from Peter Sheslevy and Michael Anzus, and finally Sergei Gonchar scored on the power play from Bill Guerin and Martin Strecker. Six nothing, the victory. All right, Pierre Turgeon extends his assist streak to nine games with a goal and an assist against Carolina. Bad news for Columbus, Richard Matvichuk is injured. He's going to be out for five months, so see you next year with a torn elbow ligament. Richard Matvichuk playing in Columbus. Uh, Todd Bertuzzi is suspended in Edmonton. He's going to miss seven games. Scott Mellenby in that same game got to 600 points in his career with a goal uh, that was against Columbus. Scott Mellenby is 34 and still a three-star player. Marcus Neslund is completely recovered from his injury. Now we have two more days off before we face the Leafs in Toronto. Brant Myers is back from suspension in Phoenix. Pierre Turgeon's assist streak ended at nine games. He was held scoreless against the Chicago Blackhawks. <clears throat> and Brian Leach is down with an ailment. Okay, that's... Oh, we got he ate some bad take takeout food, but there's like, like there's a, like, display error or typos or whatever in the text. All right, and now we are going to be playing in Toronto against the Leafs. So we are unable to beat the Leafs this season, apparently. We are also unable to lose against them. We played them twice, and we tied both times. Um, Toronto is 19, 18, and 5. That's good for 8 in the East. Let's see if we can beat them this time. All right, Abby Boulin in net for us with five fires. Cristobal Ue in net for Toronto with one fire. And we finally notched a win against Toronto, a 3-1 to victory in Toronto. We were actually outshot in this game, 33-27. to Vyacheslav Kozlov was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Yannick Perro was the second star with an assist. And Rob Blake was the third star with an assist in that one. So Toronto scored the first goal of the game in the first, then Martin struck a tight game with his 15th of the season from Rob Blake and Marcus Neslund, tied at one year after one. Then in the second, Michael Enzo scored from Vyacheslav Kozlov. It was 2-1 to one Tampa Bay after two. And then we added one more goal in the third period. Tepo Numenen scored from Vyacheslav Kozlov and Boris Mironov. It was a 3-1 to one victory against the Leafs. No one could stop Owen Nolan, who had a hat-trick against the Columbus Blue Jackets. There was no stopping Brian Savage, who also had a hat-trick against Boston. 
And Boris Miranov is feeling better. Actually, he's been playing, getting points, playing hurt, doing all of the true hockey player things. Such as observing a complete disregard for one's own safety, sadly. All right, so we are now going to be home for two games before we hit the road yet again. <clears throat> uh, we are hosting the Philadelphia Flyers today. Flyers are 22, 19, and 1. That's good for 7th in the East. We are 0-1-1 one one against the Flyers. Oh, yeah, that's true. We had that 0-0 zero zero tie against them, I remember. We also lost against them, so we have not beaten the Flyers this season. That would be nice to do so right now. Trevor Kidd is going to be a net for the Flyers. We are going to go with Johan Edberg. And we won 3-2. to two. All right, We are so undefeated in January. And we outshot the Flyers 41-20. to 20. Martin Straka was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Sergei Berizin was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Alex Tangi was the third star with two assists. 14,439 people were happy to see their team back in town after being out for a while. Uh, Philadelphia scored first, and then we scored twice. So Marcus Nesson scored from Martin Straka and Alex Tangi, and then 30 seconds later, Martin Straka scored from Alex Tangi. 2 to 1, Tampa Bay after 1. In the second period, Bill Guerin scored on the power play from Martin Straka and Marcus Nesson to give us a 3 to 1 lead, and then the Flyers came to within 1 with a Vladimir Malakov goal. Nothing happened in the third period, so 3 to 2 is our final score today. Memorable night for Travis Green, who had a hat trick three goals against the Dallas Stars. Kirk Muller played in 1,250 games in his career. That happened against the LA Kings. Kirk Muller plays for St. Louis now in my, uh, in my universe. And he didn't get a point in the game. 34-year-old Kirk Muller is a star and a half player. Suspension for Denny Gauthier uh, playing for the Devils. He's going to miss seven games. Boris Mironov is back. That is good for us. All right, so Dallas is in town. They have a pretty respectable record of 22, 14, and 6. Uh, we have beat them in Dallas 4-1. Uh, sorry, we are 1-0 and against them. Let's play them at home, see if we can beat them that way as well. Nicholas Backstrom is going to be in net for Dallas. We are going to go with Nikolai Bibulin. And we got our first loss of the month. We lost one nothing against Dallas. Nicholas Backstrom was just sensational. Sensational. Uh, we outshot Dallas 39 to 26, and we lost one nothing. Backstrom, of course, first of the game with 39 saves and the W. Brian Rafalski was the second star, no points. Tom Chorsky was the third star with an assist. 15,882 people were in attendance for the game. Oh dear God, the only goal of the game was scored with five seconds left to go in the third period by Alex Yashin. That's the only goal of the game. Five seconds later, we were at least going into overtime. <clears throat> oh, Tepo Numenen is hurt. That is not good, folks. Oh, he's day-to-day. -day. All right. Tepo Numenen is day-to-day -day with a sore wrist. Oh, that's a two-week injury. I'm still going to leave him on the lineup until I don't have a choice. Bad news for Rangers. Tony Amante is injured. That's going to take him out of the lineup for three months. He suffered a torn rib cage muscle. That must hurt. I had a... I only had a rib out of place and I was in crazy pain for a week. Alright, so that's gonna hurt the Rangers. And Luke Robitaille has a good game. He had a hat trick against the Flames. Alright, 
one more day off and then we are hitting the road yet again for four games all right so it is a stop in buffalo against the sabers sabers are 13 24 and 6 that's good for 13th in the east and we have not played the buffalo sabers yet this season so let's take a look at their lineup all right, so there's a couple injuries here. So Philippe Boucher is not going to play. He's hurt. Brad may, may or may not play. He's hurt as well, but it's a playable injury. It, in net, they have Henrik Lundqvist and Dominic Hasek. Now, Lundqvist is, on, excuse me, Lundqvist is only 18, so he's only a half a star right now. But, yeah, whenever you have two five-star potential goaltenders on your team, you're doing pretty good. Right, so on D they have Gustafsson, Older, Brewer, Olun, Redden, Boucher, Sekerash, and Slaney. The D is not that bad. The D is not too bad. Up front, they have Dave Andrejchuk, Pierre Dagenet, Jay Pandolfo, Steve Sullivan, Rob Zamuner, Brian Olzinger, Vyacheslav Koz uh, Victor Kozlov. Sorry, Vyacheslav plays for me. Uh, Enric Sedin, Jason Weimer. Davidson, Adet, Brahme, and Joe Sacco. That, that team should be better than that, what their record is. It is not a terrible team. It is not the best team I have ever seen, but they definitely should have a better record than what they have right now. All right, Johan Enberg is going to be in net for us. He's going to be facing the Dominator, Dominic Hasek. And we lost 3-2. to two. See, I told you that they should be better than that. We outshot Buffalo 46-26. to 26. Henrik Sedin was the first star of the game. He had a goal. Bill Guerin was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Dominic Kashik was the third star with 44 saves. So Buffalo scored the first goal of the game in the first period. Then in the second, they added to their lead. It was 2-0. And then Bill Guerin scored from Matt Sedin. Made it 2-1 after 2. Then Martin struck a tied game on the power play from Rob Blake and Bill Guerin. It was tied at two all the way until Per Gustafsson, former Tampa Bay Lightning, scored the game winner. And we lost 3-2. Alright, so that's a couple losses in a row now. Steve Eiserman has achieved a thousand assists in his career. With a goal and an assist against the Vancouver Canucks. Stevie Y, 35 years old, still a four star player. Good night for Yanni Ayanen, who had a hat trick against the Nashville Predators. Strong night for Mario Lemieux, he had a hat trick as well against Phoenix. And Keith Kachuk is ready to come back to practice. Yes, please. And we are now in Montreal to play against the Canadians. They are 17, 22, and 7. That's good for 10th in the East. We are 1 and 1 against Montreal this season. I would love to win the next game. Stop that little losing streak that we're on. Nikolai Abibulin is going to be in net for us. Patrick Roy is going to be in net for Montreal. And it's a tie, 2-2 two -two tie. Yeah, we got out goalied in that one. We outshot Montreal 40-15. to Matthew Schneider was the first star of the game. He had a goal. Rob Blake was the second star of the game with a goal and an assist. And Eric Desjardins was the third star with a goal as well. All three stars are defensemen. Uh, Marcus Neslin opened up the scoring in the first period from Rob Blake and Sergei Gonchar, and then Rob Blake scored from Michael Lanzus. It was 2 0 Tampa Bay after 1. Then Montreal got one back in the second period, made it 2 1. Then they got the other one in the third period, tied the game. It was tied at 2. We also had a fight between Steve McKenna and Bill Guerin. And that was it. Patrick Poulain is suspended, playing for Toronto. He's going to miss four games. All right, we're about to play Ottawa again. Uh, wow, and we're going to play them one more time uh, back at home. So that's going to be three games against Ottawa in the same month here. 
All right, so Alawai is now 27, 12, and 6. That's good for third in the East. We are 1-1 one one against the Suns. I'd like a win. We are winless in three now. Johannenberg is going to be in net for us. Mika Kiprusov is going to be in net for the Suns. And we lost 5-2. We are winless in four. We outshot Ottawa 44 to 25. Jan Erdina was the first star of the game. He had two goals and an assist. Shane Willis was the second star with three assists. And Mika Kiprusov was the third star with 42 saves. All right, Mikael Nylander opened up the scoring in the first from Brian Rafalski. It was 1 0 Tampa Bay after one. Then in the second, uh, Ottawa scored twice, made it 2 1 Ottawa after two. Then in the third, they scored twice to make it 4-1. Then Martin Straka scored on the power play from Marcus Naslin, made it 4-2. Then Jody L sealed the deal in an empty net. That's a game to forget. We lost 5-2. We need to bounce back. And we're going to need to do it right now because we are now in Columbus to play against the Blue Jackets. Yann Laperriere is back from suspension in St. Louis. Didn't he miss like 13 games or something ridiculous like that? All right, uh, in Columbus, Columbus is 12, 29, and 6, so that's not a very good record. Of course, it's an expansion team. They have Richard Madvichuk, that's hurt. We saw it earlier. He's not going to be playing, and Andrei Kovalenko is also hurt and not going to play. Now the players that are going to play, Yevgeny Nabokov and Felix Podvin are both the goaltenders. Mike Ratchie, Jason Smith, Schmerek, Brad Warenka, Bryce Salvador, Yui Krupp, former Tampa Bay Lightning, Ed Javanovsky. Uh, that's the D up front. They have Camilleri, Devro, Rintanen, Pranger, Steve Ruchin, former Tampa Bay Lightning as well. Brian Smolinski, PJ Stuck, Ty Domi, Joe Murphy, Mikael Renberg, Kalt and Khan. Oh, Ruchin is having a decent season for uh, for them. 31 points in 47 games. Javanovski have 17 and 41. I just couldn't keep everybody. I have too much talent. All right, we're going back to Nikolai Abibolin for that game. He's going to be facing Felix Podvin. And it's a 0-0 tie, so that's twice in two months that we've seen that. So now we are winless in five. We outshot Columbus 27 to 18. Michael Anzus was the first star of the game. Ed Javanovski, the second star of the game. And Vyacheslav Kozlov, the third star of the game. All right, and no fights and, of course, no scoring. 0-0 zero, zero affair. That's, that's an easy one. There you go. All right, Tommy Westland has been put on waivers. Derek King has been put on waivers. And David Arlock has been put on waivers. Wow, Derek King is uh, not doing too good this season, huh? Oh, there's been a trade. Those don't happen that often anymore. Trade between two uh, young teams. The Trashers and the Predators are trading. So Ravil Gusmanov and Chris Newberry are going to Nashville for Yannick Dubé. And Matt Cartner, oh, former Ottawa Senator in real life, Matt Cartner. Not a, not a big trade. Not a, nothing that's going to uh, go down as a huge mega trade in history. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna pick up Derek King. Mm. Yeah, he's barely a he's barely an NHL player anymore. Like he has, his, he's a ten in counter attacking forward and up and down winger. I, I'm not gonna pick up the a guy that makes over a million for barely a NHL talent. Suspension over for Todd Bertuzzi. He is back in the lineup for the Oilers. 
All right. Um, so we are hosting the Washington Capitals. Uh, Washington is 14, 28, and 5. That's good for 14th in the East. We are 1-1 one one against the Caps this season. We need a win. We need to turn things around here. Olaf Kozig is going to be the goaltender for the Caps. We're going to go to Nikolai Abibulin. All right, back to winning. A 4-1 victory here. We needed that. Uh, we outshot Washington 42-31. Ryan Smith was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Brian Rafalski was the second star with two assists. And Matt Sundin was the third star with a goal and an assist. And we had 14,713 people in attendance for the game. Nobody scored in the first period. Then in the second, we had Vyacheslav Kozlov score from Matt Sundin and Ryan Smith. It was 1-0 Tampa Bay after two. Then in the third period, Rod Blake scored from Sergei Gonchar and Michael Lanzus. Then Ryan Smith from Brian Rafalski. And then Matt Sundin scored his 10th from Brian Rafalski and Bill Guerin. It was for... Sorry, I managed to hit the mute button before I sneezed. Uh, I wasn't sure I was going to make it. <laughs> so it was 4 nothing at that point and then... Uh, Joe Thornton scored for Washington, so we did not get a shutout in the game. But it is a W, and we kind of needed that, so it is a 4-1 victory. Theo Fleury keeps fans on their feet all night. He had a hat-trick against the Phoenix Coyotes. And we are getting ready to play the Suns for the third time this month. All right, Ron Francis is day-to-day -day in Pittsburgh. He's going to miss about four days with a big cut in his face. Strong night for Niklas Sundstrom playing for uh, Florida. He had a hat-trick against the Capitals. All right, and Ottawa is in town now. They are 29-12-6. and six. They are second in the East right in front of us. We are 1-2 and two against Ottawa this season. A win here would be pretty beautiful. Mika Kiprusov is going to be in net for Ottawa. And we are going to Johan Edberg, who seems to be playing all of the games against Ottawa for some reason or another. Oh, we won that one 6 nothing. Good call by Paul Maurice to uh, play Johan Edberg here. And we outshot Ottawa 35-28. to Johan Nedberg was the first star of the game. He had 28 saves for the shutout. Bill Guerin was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Martin Straka was the third star with three assists. 15,724 people in attendance for the game. Marcus Neslin opened up the scoring in the first. That was his 20th of the season on the power play from Martin Straka and Bill Guerin. It was 1-0 Tampa Bay at that point. Then Bill Guerin also scored on the power play from Marcus Neslin and Sergei Gonchar. And it was 2-0 Tampa Bay after one. And in the second period, Brian Rafalski scored his 10th of the season from Martin Straka and Vyacheslav Kozlov. Then Rob Blake scored from Martin Straka. And Vyacheslav Kozlov scored from Bill Guerin and Rob Blake. 5 nothing Tampa Bay after 2. And finally, in the third period, Boris Mironov scored from Brian Rafalski and Alex Tangi. It was a 6 nothing victory. Pretty convincing victory. All right, so we have three games left, and two of them are going to be against the Florida Panthers. So we're hitting the road again. Shane Knighty has been put on waivers. Uh, Bob Belmore is about to lose his job as the coach of the Bruins, I believe. Yeah, he's the coach. All right, so Boston is 13, 31, and 6. It's pretty bad over there. Uh, Tuoko uh, suspension ends. So Marco Tuoko is back in the lineup in Anaheim. And strong night for Brian Leach, who has recovered from his uh, bad burrito or whatever it is that he ate. He had four goals and an assist against the Islanders. Wow, that's a pretty good game for a defenseman, especially. Alright, so we are in Florida to play against the Panthers. <clears throat> Panthers are 24, 22, and 5. 
that's good for seventh in the east we are 2-0 and against florida this season Johannenberg is going to be in net because he had a shutout last game and Edgar Masalskis is going to be in net for Florida and we won 4-1 we had a lot of 4-1 victories this month so we outshot Florida 39 to 21 Alex Tage was the first star of the game he had a goal and an assist Rob Blake was the second star with a goal and an assist and Ryan Smith was the third star with a goal so Florida scored the first goal of the game in the first period and it was 1-0 Florida after one. Then in the second period, Ryan Smith scored from Alex Tanagi and Matt Sundin. Then Marcus Neslin from Sergei Gonchar and Rob Blake. It was 2-1 Tampa Bay after two. Then in the third period, Rob Blake scored his 10th of the season on the power play from Mikhail Nylander. It was a 3-1 lead at that point. And Alex Tanagi scored our fourth and last goal from Brian Rafalski and Boris Mironov. It was a 4-1 victory for the Tampa Bay Lightning here in Florida, in Sunrise, I believe. Uh, Nicholas Avlid is the today. Oh, I might have to uh, to do something about that here. Uh, Gautier, uh the Denny Gauthier's suspension ends. He is back in the lineup. Playing for New Jersey. Theo Fleury extends his point streak to 12 games with an assist against the Canucks. Mario Lemieux has produced 900 goals in his career. He had a goal and two assists against Atlanta. Mario Lemieux is 35 and he's still a five-star player. Patrick Poulain is back in the lineup after serving his suspension in Toronto. And Tepo Numenen might be ready to come back. But he is not. We'll give it one more day and see if I need to uh, do something about it. Oh, Jan Erdina is sidelined with a broken tie. Oh, that must hurt. All right, so he's out for four months, so season is pretty much over, unless the Sens make it deep into the playoffs. That happened against Montreal. No missed time for Chicago's Jorgen Janssen, not suspended over there. And Tepo Numenen might be back this time for real. And he is, he's going to be able to play. So he is going to play hurt. All right, we are in Carolina to play the Hurricanes again. The, it was our first game of the month, and we won 4-1. Uh, Hurricanes are still not doing all that great. They are 17-28-3. and three. That's good for 13th in the East. We are 3-0 against the Hurricanes this season. Nikolai Bibulin is going to be our starter. He has five fires. Chris Osgood has four fires. He's going to be the goaltender for Carolina. And it's a 2-2 tie. So we are collecting ties again this season. We had a lot last year, and we're starting to pile them up again to this year as well. Oh, we got out goal lead here. Even though Bibulin didn't do too terribly, but we outshot Carolina 50-35. Brian McCabe was the first star of the game, he had an assist. Bill Guerin was the second star with a goal, and Serge Aubin was the third star with an assist. Bill Guerin opened up the scoring in the first period. That was his 20th on the power play from Sergei Gonchar and Martin Straka. 1-0 Tampa Bay after one. Then nobody scored in the second period, and then in the third period, Carolina took a 2-1 lead before seeing Peter Shastlivy tie the game on the power play from Mikael Nylander and Alex Tage. It was tied at 2, and of course that score would hold all the way until the end of the game. Oh! Uh, Tampa Bay's... Uh, Bouillon is suspended, so Francis Bouillon got suspended in that game against Carolina. He's going to miss five games. Eastman Knudsen extends his goal streak to five games. He had a goal um, against us. All right, so that means I need to move here. I need to do something because I'm one defenseman short. So I'm going to need to put Avlid on the injured reserve. I'm going to need to recall somebody.
Yeah, I would be a hypocrite if I were not to recall Auntie Yusi Niemi. Guy has 30 points in 37 games and he's a defenseman. Yeah, Niemi gets recalled. And he's actually going to play because I I have a short age of defenseman right now. All right, so last game of the month is going to be at home against the Florida Panthers. The Panthers are now 24, 23, and 5. That's good for 8 in the East. We are now 3 0 against them this season. So Niemi is going to play with Teppo Numenen on the third pair. Uh, all right, so I have to give him a number. Yeah, like I'm going to give you number seven. Eight it is. There you go. You get number eight, and you're going to be happy with that. There you go. It wasn't rocket science. Jose Theodore is going to be a net for Florida. We are going to go with Johan and Berg. And it's a 6-1 to one victory. All right. So we outshot Florida 52-18. to Vili Peltonen was the first star of the game. He had a hat-trick, three goals. Martin Strecka was the second star with three assists. And Ryan Smith was the third star with two assists. 15,541 people in attendance for the game. Vili Peltonen opened up the scoring in the first. That was his fifth of the season from Tepu Numenen and Martin Strecka. Then 10 seconds later, Peltonen scored again. From Martin Strecker and Ryan Smith, it was 2 0 Tampa Bay after one. Then in the second period, uh, Florida scored, made it 2 1, but Vili Peltonen scored. That was his third goal and hat trick goal from Sergei Gonchar and Ryan Smith. 3 1 Tampa Bay after two. Then in the third period, Bill Guerin scored on the power play from Matt Sundin and Martin Strecker, then Sergei Gonchar from Boris Mironov and Brian Rafalski, and finally Mikhail Nylander scored his fifth from Tepu Numenen. It was a 6-1 victory over our state rival. And Alex Tangi is hurt, because why not? Right, so Tangi is hurt day to day with a cut in his face. Strong night for Vili Peltonen, as we saw he had a hat trick. That's pretty good. Uh, St. Louis might change their coach. Terry Murray might lose his coaching gig over there. The Blues are 16, 28, and 7. That is not very good. Theo Fleury extends his point streak to 13 games with an assist against the Oilers. Derek Morris is hurt for four months with the King's uh, torn calf muscle. All right, so that's the scouting from our our scouting department. Tepo Numenen is completely recovered, and Keith Ketchuk is, is we should see Keith Ketchuk in the next video, which is good. We need him back. All right, and we're going to sim one more day. All right, and now we are going to be on February 1st. Marty McInnes will miss five months playing for the Islanders. He is hurt with a fractured coracoid bone in his shoulder, and his season is over. Larry Murphy got a thousand assists in his career with an assist against the Flyers. Larry Murphy is 39, and he is a three-star player. Ron Francis signed an extension for two more years with the Pens. Uh, 3.14 million per. And Brian Leach and Arthur's Air Bay are the players of the month in the NHL. Right, so Sundin has not been all that great this month. I have seen his name all that much. Bill Guerin seems to have had a pretty good month overall. He's been getting points, but yeah. All right. 
right, so let's take a look here. Uh, we are first in the east. It's really tight, so uh, the good news is that our closest pursuance in our division is the Florida Panthers, and they are 16 points behind. So we at least have that going. So we are in a very good position to clinch one of the top three spots for the playoffs. Now in the west, Detroit is first, San Jose, Colorado, Vancouver, Dallas, Edmonton, Calgary, and the LA Kings. All right, so as usual, Detroit is really good. And the worst team in the league is the Phoenix Coyotes with 26 points. All right, let's take a look at our stats. So Martin Straka is a point per game, 51 points in 51 games. Then Bill Guerin has 41 and 52. Marcus Neslin has 39 and 45. Metzen Dean has 39 and 48. Then Gonchar has 38 points, and then it goes down from there. So yeah, we've we've had a little bit of a a drop in production for a lot of our offensive players. So we don't have players that are point per games aside from Martin Strecker anymore. All right, and in the entire league, the goal leader is Mario Lemieux with 40 goals. He is also the best passer with 57 assists, so that goes without saying that he's the best scorer with 97 points. That's uh, 19 more than second place Yaramir Jagger. Yeah. Goalie leaders. I don't know that we're going to... Oh, Nikolai Abibulin is third for a save percentage. So Abibulin has been overall pretty good this season. May, who knows? Maybe it bodes well for the playoffs. Yeah, and he's third in GSA as well. So, yeah, he's having a good season. He is. All right, folks, we're going to go ahead and save the game. So you know what that means. That means that I'm thanking you for tuning in, as usual. And if you've liked the video and you would like to help support me and my channel, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.